Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a quick video. I had to spin it around, I was being backlit, so me and Barry back there will hang while we do this video. Um, okay, snow, mashed potatoes, and Chicago, Chicago executive. That one I can get out of the way really fast. I was just watching the weather on the news and had all these, you know, Waukegan, blah, 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 different um, temperatures, and then it just said, Chicago executive. And it had a, a temperature. What the hell is Chicago executive? Is that O'Hare? Is that what that means? That kind of was by where O'Hare might have been. But, rando. Anyway, I suppose I'll Google it and find out what it means. But, it's just like, Chicago, that's not a city. There's no city called Chicago executive. Is it some random dude calling in of a weather report? Hey, it's 41 degrees where I am. I'm a Chicago executive. Anyway, oh, also, pause. I'm doing this a lot lately. That's what normal people do when they make a pantomime of a telephone. But, um, I've done enough cowlick, man. I hate this thing. It's especially bad when I do I cut my own hair which I did of course and this is awful too um but I've studied improv and so when you when you really do good object work which I'm not that good at FYI um you you pantomime like really grabbing things and really doing things and like so when you would do a phone you actually pick up a phone or you hold a cell phone you know what I mean like this is a cell phone or you pick up I mean if you actually had a big phone anymore who does but you actually pick up a phone and you and you and you hold a phone you know to talk on it that's how you do a phone you don't do this this is not a phone this is this is not a gun you know so you know this is not scissors like scissors are actually way complicated because you have to like put your you know put your hand in the scissors and then cut you know so uh, I've been doing this a lot lately, and it's kind of like, you know, this is a phone. This is not a phone. So anyway, uh, so Chicago Executive, that's done. Um, they also showed this crazy snowstorm in Minneapolis, or it was in Minnesota. I don't know if it was in Minneapolis. I mean, snowstorm, like straight up snowstorm like we have in Chicago in winter. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just starting to get used to the fact that it gets dark really fast <sighs> and this is when it starts this is like people wonder why in September I start to like pre depress you know it's because I'm coming off of my summer high and it's like people wonder why because it's because I'm anticipating the dark the darking the dark darkening happening and then when the dark comes I'm like anticipating that like what I just saw on the TV that's like a horror someone else tweeted and they put a picture I don't know they're in Nebraska and they they put a picture up of like snow and I like tw twittered back and I was like that's a horror show to me that's what that looks like a fucking horror show like you might as well show like a dead body like that is like a horror show to me that's strikes fear in my heart no joke I don't even really have any good, I don't even have boots right now. I don't even have good boots. I have boots from last year that weren't even that good to begin with. Like, bad. You know what I mean? Ugh. And, and I'm already wearing two scarves. I'm already wearing two scarves. A light kind of bullshit scarf and a thin, it's very thin, it's like that thick. Uh, like a, a thin, like, scarf. So I'm wearing like a bullshit scarf and the, and I'm already wearing Domo. I'm already I'm already wearing Domo out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not cool. This is already what I'm doing. So, you know what I mean? I'm already cold. It's just bad. So when I see snow, that snowstorm, I'm like, can't deal. This is when I'm just like, oh. How do I combine Chicago or New York? Now I'm just so in love with New York. But I don't think New York gets as slammed as we do here. 
I mean, they get slammed. I mean, there's definitely, in last year, they got slammed. There was, you know, we saw t news of it after we did and stuff. But it's like, how do I combine this, the city, Chicago, New York, with L.A.? Like, how do I do it? But the fact of the matter is, and I don't know, I guess I still need to go out there and visit some friends and stuff. I don't think... I don't have... Okay, first of all, I think I've lost my pre-Midwestern hatred of L.A., like, I just hate L.A. and I hate everyone there and, like, blah, they suck. I don't think I'm going into it with that anymore. But I do feel like even people who live there to a certain extent acknowledge that it's, like, not everyone thrives there. You know what I mean? Mentally. Now, bodily, I will thrive there. But, like, mentally, not everyone thrives there. Like, there's a certain, like thing that goes on there you know what I mean just a, an attitude or a mentality or like you got to know who your friends are and keep them close you know what I mean and that's just not who I like I don't know that's hard it's not who I am it's so hard I want people to like me and I want to be liked but in in a sincere and real way not in a in a weird high school bullshit fake tits tan skinny way that is not who I am you know what I mean? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not moving to L.A. I'm not moving to L.A. right now. Or maybe ever. See that snow, man? And it just oh, beats me down. That picture. I mean, and the guy's like, leave it up there a while. Like, leave it up there a while? Why? We got rain. Why would you leave that picture up there? You psycho? Anyway. So, Chicago executive's done. Snow's done. Fucking psycho. And then, then, and mashed potatoes. Look at these. Mashed potatoes. Check this out. It's sad. It's so sad. But I made mashed potatoes. Homemade mashed potatoes. Delish. For the first time in my life. I know. It's fucking sad. But they're delicious. <laughs> I had, what I was doing was I had, I generally was just getting baked potato, like potatoes and just throwing them in the microwave for like five minutes. And that's good too. They're good. They come out like baked potatoes because they're microwaved baked potatoes. But I had a bag and I let go. Bag, Wisconsin, what up, Madam Luria? And, um, and I hadn't been using them and I went and there was like some real like shriveled moldy ones and shit. And so I, I, just, I, there was like three, four big ones that were I, that were usable, but I didn't really feel good about like just microwaving them and like eating the skin still. I was like, Ugh. so I was like, well, what, what would you do with these? Like you would peel them, and then what? Boil them, and then what? And I'm like, well, I guess you mash them, right? I mean, you don't just sit and eat like boiled potatoes. I mean, I guess I could. So I went online and was like, how to boil mashed potatoes. I was like, oh yeah, milk, butter, right? Okay. I don't even, I mean, I guess we have a mixer here. I don't know. I just took the mixer thing and just like smashed them, right? I mean, mashed potatoes, that's what you do. Delicious. Mmm. So fantastic. So, I mean, there's bumps and lumps and chunks in here, but who cares? Do I care? Fan fucking tastic. That's what I gotta say. So, as you can tell, 36 years old, not a cook, really. And probably eating starch, only starch for dinner, is not the best thing in the world. And my isolatory ways are really getting bad here. And part of it's the winter, and part of it's money. Because of this whole, whatever, I wrote a blog post about it. I'm a little short. I'm cash poor until Monday due to Veterans Day. Which, awesome Veterans Day. Cool. But it just means that the banks are closed. So, whatever. So, mashed potatoes. I'm going to be go getting some more in my own kitchen. Um, yeah, snow, man. What are you going to do? That's it. Blah, blah. What's up, Obama? <laughs> All right, I'm out. Bye.